Hello and welcome to economictimes.com. I'm Maloney Bhatt. As part of the ED Sunakon Summit Dialogues, we're delving into how startups can make the best of the solutions offered by cloud technologies. Specifically, we'll dive into how Apar Technologies successfully navigated to the cloud and how it benefited the business in terms of growth while keeping costs under control. Now, this is interesting for a whole lot of businesses who have questions about moving to cloud-based solutions and what are some of the things that they should consider. Now, with that, let me introduce the panel. I have with me Ashutosh Haradwaj, Principal Lead at Apar Technologies. Apar Technologies is a global consulting and technology service provider headquartered in Singapore. Ashutosh, welcome to economictimes.com. Thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you. It's our pleasure to have you. Next, I have with me Sujit PR, who is the Regional Business Manager, Google Business Unit at Persistent Systems. Persistent Systems is a global company that provides software and technology services to help businesses power digital transformation. Sujit, good to see you again. Hello. Thank you for having me. Wonderful to have you here. And finally, we have with us Ravi Ramachandran. He is the Partner Engineering Google Cloud Platform. Google Cloud is a platform that offers a wide range of cloud computing services like hosting websites and storing data, helping individuals and businesses run their applications and operations more efficiently on the internet. Ravi, wonderful to have you here with us today. Thank you. It's my privilege and honor. Thank you for getting me. All right. Uh, with that, let's begin. My first question, Ashutosh, is to you. You know, tell us a little bit about Apart Technologies and what would you say has contributed to its success? So, Apart Technology is a renowned name in terms of technology services, and you know, it has a headquartered in Singapore, and you know, uh, we have a presence over in eight countries specifically. So, we do have offices in India, USA, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand and you know over the part of the globe then we do have around 2400 plus people working with us as of now throughout the globe uh, i would like to mention uh, you know about the india division which is named as connex rm and which takes care of ip products based on the education verticals right so uh, on the education side we do have our erps we do have a payment aggregation platform and we do have a learning management system available with us all of these are you know with this uh, innovation they are on google cloud now and uh, this is this is what we have done specifically for this exercise all right you know that's good to know you know uh, ashutosh um, we're focusing on migrating or navigating uh, the movement to the cloud and you know companies often face challenges while uh, their migration, right? Like managing costs, you know, technical expertise. Uh, there are security concerns, compliances, regulations. So, you know, tell us a little bit about how your company managed those and share your experience of the transition and explain how this collaboration, you know, fueled the growth and improvement of your tech solutions. So, as you rightly mentioned, Meloni, uh, there are compliances issues, there are security issues and, you know, stakeholders, specifically the business stakeholders are, you know, more afraid of going into the uh, cloud technologies just because of uh, these concerns. But uh, with us, what had happened is that we have planned it well with persistent, uh, persistent, of course, because, you know, they have a vast experience on the uh, uh, migration side. And that is why the entire template was available. Like these are my security questions, which needs to be addressed before we go into the cloud. These are my compliances, which has to be, uh, you know, com uh, compliant enough for the Google cloud platform. And since cloud gives me a leverage to, you know, uh, pay as per you, as per go, hence it is, you know, helping me out in cutting my IT expenses to up to around 5 to 10 percent as of now but i i think this will you know increase on a later date because if we do have you know on-prem servers that is a kind of capex cost and cloud is only having me uh the the you know it is saving my capex rather you know increasing the opex part but we can optimize it as and when required 
All right. Uh, you know, that's that's great. And it's time for us to now uh, bring in Sujit. You know, Sujit, when you initially speak to companies to get a sense of their need, you know, to integrate cloud solutions, uh, what are the kind of things that, you know, you'd advise them on? And specifically, say, in the case of power technologies, what was the sort of role that, uh, you know, your company played to ensure, as uh, Ashutosh pointed out, you know, to fuel its growth and its uh, success? Okay, so uh, we at a persistent system um, are a premium partner of uh, Google Cloud and uh, we act as a digital transformation partner for every organization. So when we initiated the conversation with Apar, uh, you know, some of the workloads uh, were already running with one of the cloud service provider. So what we have done with Apar, we sat with the Apar team and understood the Apar's business, right? And their customers need and the customer's customer needs. So first we have done, actually we have helped the apart technologies in assessing the current infrastructure that needs to be migrated. And we have also suggested the ways they can further optimize their workload using Google Cloud services without compromising the performance. Apart from this, uh, we also did a TCO analysis exercise, which has given them an idea about how much they are going to spend and save. And TCO analysis has not only given them a cost overview, but also has given them a perspective on what are the cloud native services we are replacing to optimize the workload and improve the user experience. So in a nutshell, we made a blueprint document about what we are going to migrate, how much does how much time does this take and what can be the maximum and in minimum impact to, to the users? How do we mitigate it and what is the resilience in place? So that has improved the confidence of APAR and we had a very successful migration. Uh, uh, last but not the least, we have also crafted the roadmap uh, for APAR technologies, which can try after the successful migrations like data silos into data warehouse by using BigQuery, AIML using Vertex AI and so on and so forth. Thank you. All right. Uh, you know, so the, the entire mapping was done uh, initially so that, uh, you know, the migration to the cloud was uh, seamless. All right. Uh, you know, Ravi, what are the things that you would say, you know, when, when, when businesses want to um, uh, navigate the cloud or move to the cloud, uh, what would you say, you know, they need to uh, have a checklist of? What should they be looking at uh, before they approach service providers? Yeah, so one is getting the endpoint, second is cost optimization being the need of the hour and technological advancement being the other side. So these are two pieces that enterprises tend to navigate to and need to find a right, 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 right balance to. And we at Google Cloud essentially keep these as a base framework for our own solutions and services and our partners essentially help achieve that. So we ask the customers to ensure that there is an architecture framework and a delivery excellence framework through which they pass their, their requirements so that they fit in the entire scheme of things from an outcome perspective so that they see the outcomes on the day one itself. All right. Yeah. Uh, Ravi, what are the big challenges of, uh, you know, having AI uh, being integrated uh, for cloud uh, solutioning and then, you know, also operating in a market which is diverse and unique and wide as India. You know, would you say that this is a different or a unique market in terms of say, specific business requirements? So, as soon as we talk of AI, responsibility becomes a key piece. Because AI essentially brings in the entire strength and the power of computers and the technology. The, the, the key responsibility is actually being driving a responsible AI, which is what actually Google is bringing into the picture. And Google Cloud with partners like Persistent essentially help customers embrace and include technologies which are customized to their own needs and secured within the Google Cloud infrastructure and not exposed to any other enterprises outside the realm of things. So that way essentially the entire journey becomes much more scalable and of course uh, achievable in the next level of digital transformation. And, and about the India market, you know, how would you say? Um, from an India market standpoint, we essentially have seen an explosion in terms of requirements. It could be coming from digital natives or it could be traditional enterprises. Each one of them want to get into the journey of generative AI. Some of them actually know the end point of the use cases and the way to achieve it. Some of them essentially are looking up to us to make it happen. And with the, and with the skill sets that we have built in, with partners in place, 
we essentially are you know scaled enough to handle both type of variants wherein the customer knows the journey and we take it take take them through the journey or the customer essentially is wanting to experiment experiment with us to make the best of things happen right you know and we'll uh, delve a little bit into it uh, uh, further along into the conversation rashtosh back to you you know talk to us about your overall partnership experience with uh, persistent systems you know through the migration and beyond the sort of hand holding that was offered to you and uh, you know even after the migration uh, what were the synergies uh, that were in place see when when we were trying to explore google cloud we were worried about that you know we need to go into the into a downtime of our applications and our customers may suffer but you know with the, with this planning exercise we knew that this will be the time downtime you know window like 2 hours 3 hours whatever it was and that too was in the uh, unofficial hours so it does not impact the business at all and that is the best part which i can talk about in terms of partnerships of course the hand holding was all, all, always there and you know they were available on call on teams and on google meet as well uh, just to you know clear out our queries whatever we had in the path of migration but overall it was it was a smooth experience all right uh, you know sujith uh, in light of the support you've provided uh, about technologies in their migration journey you know how do you see persistent systems continuing to play say a crucial role in optimizing solutions and addressing uh, future challenges on the cloud uh, google cloud platform uh, i would say since uh, we are a premium partner of uh, google cloud for many years uh we have seen many uh, use cases like about technologies and we have done many successful migrations so far uh we at a persistent system have got a handful of experience in each vertical and domains uh, which is helping us to understand and deliver the customer needs um and our team has got expertise in rehosting which is a lift and shift and replatforming and refactoring that helps the customer in moving uh, their existing workload to google cloud either it could be a lift and shift or if they are wanted to go for a replatforming or it can to go for a refactoring the customer can always depend on a partners like us so we also have got expertise in all the areas of cloud when it comes to compute network storage and databases that is the basic of every cloud so when we approach any customer we approach them that you uh, know what we can do next after the successful migration so we have a dedicated time team who can work on the data data warehousing ai and ml and as uh, you know uh, now the J ai gen ai is actually popping up we really have a dedicated team who is really working on gen ai which is making the every customer interest towards the gen ai right so the expertise across the competencies and the 1000 plus certifications in google cloud is really helping the customers to choose us all right you know and how do you see the offtake with generative uh, ai in india so generative ai i would say now uh, from the school i mean i would say we need to start from our children right so everybody now has a dependency on generative ai wherever they wanted to complete the assignments they are looking at uh, something like chat gpt and most of the organization are denied to open the chat gpt or whatever the website which is allowed already so it is going to have a, a major impact in uh, india uh for every searches that we are going to make in google uh, i think the next search engine is going to be chat gpt and generative ai right that's what i would say and when it comes to the enterprise and digital native yeah. the application uh, whatever the uh, enterprise is using and whatever the digital native are using they are all trying to integrate the applications with generative ai in terms of chatbot in terms of answering the questions in terms of serving the customer or in terms of making the end user happy so that's what my take about the generative ai so exciting times for you at persistent systems thank you so much all right uh, ashutosh and ravi my last set of questions to you now you know uh, ashutosh any upcoming initiatives that you'd like to uh, share with us uh, at apart technologies so ravi and uh, sujith is already speaking about ai and that is what is in the road map as of now for apart apart from ai ml uh, technologies you know as to building learning path for the students specifically because we do work a lot in the education sector mm -hmm. uh, we are also exploring the media services like you know video streaming and all just to make our lms uh, available to the market 
for the students specifically to uh, you know for, for their courses and all so this is a kind of uh, you know a road map which is a, which is a quick need of a biotechnologies where we are continuously exploring and uh, doing pocs and getting it completed into the products all right you know and we wish you all the success with it uh, ravi you now have the last word you know as uh, cloud technology adoption accelerates and the indian market evolves and you talked about uh, you know what an exciting uh, market it is what is the sort of role that you see google cloud play you know in this uh, interesting ecosystem you know anything that is specifically tailored for the indian market thank you well india has been a key market from a google cloud standpoint and google as an organization perspective and google cloud in specific when we talk of gen ai is on a unique journey to make ai useful for everyone when i say everyone it doesn't mean that i need to be an ai practitioner or i need to be needing needing to know how to code in ai i essentially can be a business user or i could be an ml practitioner let us say coming from partners like persistent or say customers like apart the end objective is to make ai useful for everyone so the stack that we have built up is essentially to cater to both the categories of people one who want to consume ai directly with no coding experience or two to essentially create awesome tools on top of vertex ai a platform that we have and of course with the to, to achieve scale essentially we have now worked with partners to ensure that we can scale the entire motion the product is ready the services is ga now the customers can now work through partners find out what is the capability that they bring into the table and already begin to see the end point before you start the entire journey because we have some partner delivery frameworks within which all the partners are working and the customers can make a right assessment before they start the journey with us all right well you know uh, thanks very much uh, ravi you know for uh, uh, the responses to the questions uh, and i hope that they are beneficial to any business that wants to move to the cloud uh, sujeet and ashutosh thanks very much uh, for your inputs and for your time and to the entire audience uh, you know do reach out to us with all the questions that uh, you may have for apart technologies for google cloud or for persistent systems and we'll make sure we pass them on to them but thank you very much gentlemen uh, for being a part of uh, this discussion and to the audience for watching thank you very much thank you thank you